Howdy fellow Model Rare Voters, my name is Kevin Brown and I want to thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate the setting up of a car card waybill system for use on my Model Railroad, the uh, Brownsville Terminal Railroad. And uh, I, I also want to share some clips from the last N scale of Bloomington Normal Club meet over at Castle Gardens in Lexington. We had a good time. Uh, but first, I'll uh, go over some new equipment. I managed to pick up two new covered hoppers for my uh, grain train. These came from courtesy of the McLean County, the McLean Depot Hobby Shop. Uh, if you're ever driving between Chicago and St. Louis, I recommend you check it out. He has a very nice shop. Um, so now we'll go into uh, the car card system. So stay tuned. Probably the most basic aspect of model railroading operation is delivering cars to the industries, to specific industries, and shipping their contents to the wider, often unmodeled world. Um, realistic freight car forwarding can be done on the most modest of layouts and uh, can be done in many different ways. One way you can do it is with uh, substitution switching, which means basically if a train pulls up to an industry, and it has a tank car in the train and there's a tank car in the industry, you just switch those out and that dictates how you switch out your industries. It requires no uh, preparation and it's a, probably a pretty good way to start. Uh, another possible way of uh, organizing freight car forwarding is what's called tab on car. Uh, basically you would put on top of your car some sort of colored label or in the old days they had they drilled holes and put thumbtacks on it with colors and uh, uh, some sort of way of telling where what industry it had to go to. Um, and another possible way of dealing with freight car forwarding is what's called switch lists, uh, which basically is a listing of every uh, move that a uh, uh, freight train is supposed to make. Uh, and often these things are computer generated. All those work fine. Uh, I chose a fourth method, which is car car and waybill system and I chose it for no other reason than I've read about it as a kid and I thought it would be neat to try. Uh, basics. Each car has a corresponding card. You'll see it has all the information on it. Each card has in, as well a pocket. Into this pocket you put a waybill which tells you where to send the train to or the car to. Each of these waybills uh, go with the uh, switching crew and eventually they'll be placed in a box position that will be labeled and correspond to the industry where they're going to be sitting. Um, after each operating session, the waybill is taken out, advanced to its next position, and that sets up the operations for the next night. So that's kind of the basics. I am using the Micromark. I use their show their catalog. Um, they uh, Micromark has a car routing system starter pack. Uh, it's uh, very nice. It's actually a bargain at thirty-three bucks, and it has all sorts of very nicely done car cards, a pad of waybills, a engine cards. I haven't used those yet. They sound kind of interesting. And very interesting bad order cards that you can write down when something isn't working right on a particular car and put it in a specific spot and then you'll know to, where to look for it. And better than, and best still, <coughs> instructions. Woohoo! Um, I'll say from the start, I am using a much simpler uh, uh, two position way bill than comes with it. This has four different positions and if you consider that the card itself actually has a uh, fifth position when empty return two so uh, you can really route these cars all over particularly larger layout uh, but that's just not really appropriate for what I'm trying to do um, next uh, what I'd like to do is do a quick tour around the layout I'll show you how I've set stuff up and uh, we'll go from there thank you very much 
I forgot to mention that the uh, uh, basic set also comes with four three-position uh, waybill boxes, which are really nice. This is, uh, in a normal layout, you'd be able to just uh, attach them to your fascia. Uh, mine's a little special, and I'll show you how that works out. First step, of course, is laying out all your cars and building a card for each one. I have two different sources of traffic on my layout. This is the, these are the cars that will come from the p uh, and Junction in Thomasboro. And over here are all the cars that will come from the uh, eastbound freight and uh, be dropped off at, uh, and switched out from there. Now for the layout, I spent some time and built a position for each of the industries on the layout and I also made out a simple way bill one way bill for each space available uh, for a 50 foot car um, uh, for each of the industries and here's where I shuffle the cards and uh, put them to the available cars and you'll notice that I don't have any permanent labels on any of this because it's all going to subject to change at no notice. I've had surprisingly amount of luck just using these uh, post-it notes for labels. Uh, they've stuck really well and so it's allowed me to adapt to it. And here's the last bunch of waybills for this side of the layout at Thomasboro and once again everything's labeled and corresponds to an industry. So this is the basic setup for a car card waybill system. Um, next time, we'll go, I'll go through and I'll try and show how this was used in uh, detail. Um, but this is going to end up being a pretty long video if I did that now. So for the moment, uh, I'd just like to share some f uh, video footage from the Castle Gardens show in uh, Lexington, which we had a good time at. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Train yeah, toys. Did you go up to the toilet? And when you just set it up for a day, you got to put all the bells and whistles. Oh, that's beautiful. We love them. Um, we go to. That was really fun. Our next outing for the N scale of Bloomington Normal will be November 3rd and 4th at the Normal Public Library. We will have several layouts set up as well as uh, reading activities for kids. It usually makes for a wonderful weekend, so if you get a chance, come on by. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed what you saw, please subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.